Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and I've got a special tutorial video for you today. This is something that many of you have asked me to do for a very, very long time. And I said I would do it, but I'm just now getting around to doing it. And that is, how do you get Zoo Tycoon 2 to play on a modern computer? Well, today I'm going to show you just how to do that. Now the key to this one is going to be that this is, if you have the actual disc versions like I had originally, then what I'm doing here most likely is not going to work for you. This is only if you get the one from Amazon that is linked down below in the video description uh, through an affiliate link. So if you've already bought it through Amazon and have the ultimate collection that way, or if you are planning to get it, this is going to show you how to get it to play because a lot of people seem to have trouble trying to get this to play and I totally get that because when I first started playing this game a year and a half ago for you guys here on the channel, I also had a lot of trouble trying to get it to work, but I was able to get it to work. And then people were asking, you know, I figured, okay, well, you know, I'm sure other people are going to be wanting to be able to play this, so here's the link to that. And again, Others were not able to get the downloadable version to work from Amazon either on their computers. So today, I actually went ahead, I bought the downloadable version on Amazon, I installed it, I got it to work, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's get started. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is, if you haven't already purchased Zoo Tycoon to Ultimate Collection through Amazon, that's the first step you're going to want to do for this tutorial. Now again, this does not work if you have the CDs like I originally had, only if you get this version. So again, you may have already purchased this. If not, and you're looking to, link down below in the video description, click on that. I will make a little tiny bit uh, just because you clicked on the link and purchased something through my link. It, that's just how that works, it's an affiliate link. So anyway, um, it helps out the channel and stuff too. So once you actually are on this link and you could try to search for it and find it through amazon yourself but i i'll be honest it's a little difficult so just using the link is the quickest way to get to this particular page this is zoo tycoon 2 the ultimate collection so you will get zoo tycoon 2 plus all four expansion packs all included in one set it's only 19.99 it's a pretty good deal especially if you love nostalgia if you love these old games like this 20 bucks to be able to play this not too shabby um, anyway, so once you're on this page, all you got to do is just purchase the game. So you add it to cart and you check out and that's all you got to do. Now, once you actually have done that, the next step is going to be this. Here's how you're going to be able to download the game after you've purchased it. All right, so what you're going to want to do is go to your account page on Amazon. And if you're not sure how to get to your account page, it's really, really easy here on Amazon. You just go up here and right where it says, hello, your name, account and list, just click on that. Just click it real quick. Boom, like that. And that'll take you right over to it. Now, you're going to want to go down here where it says digital content and devices right here. And you're going to look down here and you're going to see digital games and software. And you're going to want to go into that. Now, once you're in there, the next step is going to be just your C, you should see Zoo Tycoon 2 Ultimate Collection here if you just bought it. It should be the first thing listed, and you're just going to click Download. Now, if you purchased it previously, then it should be done in here somewhere, but this is basically the page where you're going to go. If you purchase any kind of digital games on Amazon, any kind of gift cards that have codes, everything like that is going to be here. So that's where you're going to go. Now, once you download it, we're going to move on to the next step. So this is just going to be the installer. All right, so once you have the file already downloaded, what you're going to do, I've put this right here on my desktop for easy to see, but it's going to go to wherever you actually download it, to your downloads folder, wherever you have things going on your computer when you download it, that's where it's going to be. But you're going to look for this right here. It's the got the Amazon logo on it. It says Zoo Tycoon 2 Ultimate Collection Downloader.exe. Now you're going to want to double click that and then what's going to happen is it's going to start downloading that. Now the strange thing that I happen to get here is I get these strange script error things here. Don't pay any attention to these. It doesn't matter whether you click yes or no. If you get these, um, I'm going to click yes, yes. And every single time one of those pops up, I'm going to click yes. I don't know why they do it. I don't know if it's going to do it to you, but it does it to me and it's strange and I don't have an explanation for that. But it doesn't affect anything on the download or anything like that. So just click yes or no. Either way you go on that, get rid of those script errors off the screen and it should finish downloading and then it will extract. 
and then it's going to show you the download location so i'm going to go ahead and click the install button which should bring up where it's at here now this will be the folder where everything is and all you got to do at this point is go in here and you want to click this one right here that says auto run dot exe uh, none of this other stuff don't click any of these there's a setup thing in here don't click that just go in here and click auto run dot exe i'll bring this up here right here then you click install and then it's going to ask you do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device that is a yes yes you do want it to make changes to your device because it's going to install the files it's a pretty simple question and a lot of people you know probably think oh i don't know what it's doing it's it's fine just hit yes all right once that's done you get this little screen right here and it says to continue click install but now wait don't just click install here this is what we're going to do we're going to go down here to more options and we're going to tell it where we want it now if you go ahead and have it install wherever you want, it's going to install to your program files, dash 86, Microsoft games, zoo tech it's, it's going to be a little harder to find that way if you don't know your computer too well. So what I like to do, and plus I don't actually want the game to install on my main, my, my main hard drive. I don't want that. So I'm going to tell it to install in a particular place where I want it. And you can do the same thing here if you prefer. So I'm going to go down here. And I'm going to tell it where I want it to go. So I have a secondary hard drive that all my games are installed on. And I want it to install that, which is Z Drive. Now, under Z Drive, I also have a folder for games. And I just happen to already have a folder for Zoo Tycoon 2 here. You probably will not. So what you will have is this right here. And it says Z Games or wherever you want to install it. But just basically what I'm trying to tell you is you can install this anywhere you want on your computer just remember where you install it so I'm going to install to this folder right here that I already have set up and that's uh, Z Drive games and then ZT2 for Zoo Tycoon 2 that's where I want it to go um, you can also have it run after it's installed as well just don't have to worry about that you don't need to view the readme so don't check mark that but basically all I'm trying to say is remember where the game is being installed this is important for something we may have to do later all right, go ahead and click install. And it's going to go through its thing. It's going to install the game, blah, blah, blah. All right, now it's going to ask you about a uh, message of the day. This game is so old that I doubt this even matters anymore. Even the company that made it is defunct now. So Blue Fang Games, I'm pretty sure it doesn't even exist. So just click no on that. Now it's going to ask you again, do you want to install or do you want to launch it? Go ahead and actually no don't don't install or uh, not install but don't click on to launch it just yet you can if you want but I'm going to show you something here that's probably important so go ahead and click uh, uncheck mark this right here and then click finish all right and now we're going to go to the folder where it's installed at all right so this is why I told you to remember where you installed the game so if you didn't do that that's your bad not mine I told you okay so a lot of people would think to in order to run the game, you would just click zt.exe because that's usually what you want, right? No. So for some odd reason, the game doesn't want to run, or at least it will not on my computer, if I just click zt.exe. I have to click this one right here, startup.exe. So, so I don't have to keep going through all of this. So what I like to do is to, right here, the startup, right click on this, and then use holding down your right mouse button, move it over here to the desktop, and then we're going to add or create a shortcut here. That creates a shortcut to this file right here. And then you can even rename the shortcut if you want. I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna call it Zoo Tycoon 2. Bam, bam, bam. Now, clicking on this button right in here, the startup.exe or the shortcut we just made, which I'm gonna click on a shortcut, will then launch the game. We want to accept the terms and conditions there. Uh, you can go through it and read it if you want. It's not important. And we're going to load up the game. We can click on through these. None of these things interest me. And bam! There we have it. Click to continue for Zoo Tycoon 2. Now, it's going to ask us if we are willing to participate in a customer experience improvement. Nah. I mean, the company no longer exists. So then it's going to ask if you want to learn how to play Zoo, Zoo Tycoon 2. That's up to you. If you want to go through the tutorials, by all means, go ahead and do that. I am going to skip the tutorials. 
going to skip all of that. Alright, and the next thing I'm going to do here is go into this, and I'm going to go over here to Advanced Settings, because I am playing on a 4K monitor. So, I'm not sure what kind of monitor you guys are playing on. It's automatically set to 1024 by 768 You can leave it at that for the classic experience if you want. I like a little bit more detail in my games. So I'm going to go down here to... Now you would think I would want to choose 3840 by 2160, which is a 4K. I'm actually not going to do that. I'm actually going to go with the 2560 by 1600 for mine. I think that's actually going to be pretty good. So I'm going to click that. And then I'm going to go over here. And since I am using an RTX 3080 Ti, I'm not worried about any of this. I'm going to max all of this stuff out. Every bit of it. Terrain, texture, size, sure. All of this. Detail objects. Objects, detail. Blah, 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 blah. Put this. Just max it all out. View distance. Hi. Yeah, sure. I'm pretty sure my RTX 3080 can handle a 10-year-old game. I'm pretty sure it can. If it doesn't, that's a problem. But anyway, go ahead and save changes. Game's going to restart. And... Should pop back up here in a minute. There we go. And it's going to ask if we want to keep these new graphics. I'm going to say yes. Now, this gets rid of most of the black border. If I had went with the uh, 4K settings, I'd have a much wider black border on each side. This is fine. This gets rid of most of it, and I'm okay with that. And then we play freeform game, and I can choose, I don't know, whatever I want here. It doesn't matter. And we're going to load up the game. And there we have it. So, there's your game. Ready to play. You can now do whatever you want. You can construct habitats here, which we're going to do real quick. I'm just going to... Uh, sure, this is fine. I don't care. It doesn't matter. There we go. Uh, let's put a gate in there. There we go. And let's get an animal. Let's get, um, I don't know, an, an antelope. Let's get three, four antelopes in there. All right, there we go. So, as you can see, though, the game is absolutely playable on a brand new modern day computer. So again, there's been lots of people who said they haven't been able to get it installed. They can't get it to play. So if you follow my directions exactly as I have told you, that will do the trick. You will be able to play this game. You can see for yourself, I went through every step. I'm playing the game for myself. I am not going to be able to answer any of your questions regarding this. So like when I did my tutorial on how to mod Planet Coaster, I got a lot of questions from people asking me how, you know, this doesn't work, this doesn't work. It all came down to, you didn't follow directions, you didn't know what you was doing. Those two things. <laughs> so if you follow my directions, this should work absolutely fine for you and you should be able to play the game. It's as easy as that. You just gotta follow my directions and do that. You'll be playing Zoo Tycoon 2 in no time. So I'm going to be trying to do another tutorial soon because there is a mod for the game that allows us to get the window stretched out to where we want it to and it fixes it perfectly and um, I'm going to try to get that to work. For some odd reason it worked before but that was when I installed it using the discs and not the Amazon downloadable version. So I've got to try to figure out why it's not working on this version of the game when it's supposed to, and it's not. So I'm going to figure that out, and then I'll come back to you guys with another tutorial. And I'll probably do a tutorial on how to install mods in Zoo Tycoon 2 as well, if you guys are interested in that. If you are, make sure to comment down below. You want to see more, you know, basically more tutorials on how to do things in, in Zoo Tycoon 2. Um, if you don't, well then don't comment. But if you like this video, if it helped you, make sure you subscribe for more videos. I may even start playing Zoo Tycoon 2 again because you guys, this is like my most wanted video series on my channel. Everybody seems to watch this one. I have more views on this series than any other series on my channel. So you guys really love the old retro stuff. And I may come back and start playing this a little bit more. So we'll, we'll see. I know you guys really want me to, but we'll see how things work out. But again, if you like the video, you want to see more, click subscribe, click that bell to be notified. Give me a like. 
especially if it helped you. If it helped you get to install, give me that like and leave a comment down below if you want to see more from this game. I'm going to head out of here wherever you guys are in the world. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. I'll see you next time.